You might have noticed today that all 27 Starbuckses on your block were closed. <laughs> but it was for a good reason. Later today, Starbucks will close thousands of stores several hours for racial bias training. It comes after two black men were arrested in Philly for sitting in a Starbucks. The company will close more than 8,000 stores this afternoon. Employees will reportedly watch videos and they'll participate in discussions. That's right. Today, Starbucks gave its employees racial bias training which they need now more than ever, especially since, as of this afternoon, Roseanne started working for them. <laughs> but in all seriousness, this is a good move on Starbucks's part. I honestly believe this. Like, they've tried to do this training right, partnering with the NAACP, hosting discussion groups. They're even doing video presentations. In fact, our own Roy Wood Jr. sent in a training video for them to use. <laughs> Take a look. Hello, Starbucks employees. I'm here today because you f***ed up, but that's fine. After today's training, those racial insensitivities will be a thing of the past. But first, a word to the black employees watching. You good, my dude, take off. Y'all ain't gotta watch none of this. Just straight. Now, for everyone else, we'll be reviewing how to handle some common scenarios that occur inside of a Starbucks. When an African-American customer enters your store, there's a right way to greet him and a wrong way. Here's some of the wrong ways. Yo, what's up, man? Can I get the ice oh, coffee? Oh, shit, he wearing a bandana. Don't kill me! Just take the money! Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. We are out of great drink. Mm. Hey, welcome to Starbucks. No, look. It was open! Mm. Now, here's the correct way to greet a black person in your store. Hello. Let's move on. Writing black names on coffee cups. Okay, Miss Vente Latte is for? Rashonda. Rashonda, of course. Of course. <laughs> Here's what he should have done. Uh, it's Rashonda. Oh, I'm sorry, I have this disease where I forget how to read. Would you mind spelling that for me? Sure, uh, R. R. U. U. Finally, let's address one of our more sensitive issues, bathroom access. From time to time, Starbucks customers will need to evacuate their bowels. It's a natural part of the coffee process, but we must be sensitive about it. Uh, pardon me, may I get the code to the restroom? Oh, you ain't gonna buy nothing? You ain't got no snack, no nothing? You just think you're gonna walk up in here and take a shit for free? Ain't nothing in this life for free. You go outside and piss in the gutter. Boy, I'll call 911 on your ass before I let you ruin these white folks' toilet with their unemployed piss. Here's a better approach. Hey, pardon me, sir. May I get the code to the restroom? Absolutely. The code is 0115. It's Dr. King's birthday. <laughs> and there you have it. Now you know how to make African Americans feel welcome at Starbucks. Thanks for watching. And remember, don't be racist. Roy Wood Jr., everybody.